Hi and welcome to my new video. This time on a review and later on detailed tutorial is the Casio PRG300. ProTrack, formerly known as Pathfinder, is another Casio's brand like G-Shock that's designed for outdoor activities and aimed for outdoor enthusiasts such as hikers, backpackers, campers and climbers. ProTrack has many of the same technical features as G-Shock like tough solar, multi-band, six automatic radio, time syncing and triple sensor uh, or the ABC, environmental sensors. Before sensors uh, came more common in high-end and G-Shock watches, ProTrack was the go-to brand for such features. An advantage of uh, ProTrack is that you can uh, get a triple sensor watch for uh, cheaper than a G-Shock with a triple sensor or an analog pro track for cheaper than an analog G-Shock with the triple sensor. If you, went, if you want an ABC watch with the altimeter, barometer, compass and thermometer of the triple sensor but don't want to pay a premium of Master G watch then, uh, it, then it's worth considering a pro track Casio. Advanced Casio technologies has allowed for uh, 95 percent smaller directional sen direction sensor and 90 percent reduction in sensor power consumption compared to previous models despite their smaller size the new sensors in this model deliver better accuracy and energy efficiency this model can measure altitude in one meter increments whilst previously it was five meters and this and display compass readings with a 60 second interval in continuous continuity. Uh, aluminum panel bezel design features include a compact sleek design and soft urethane band for a better fit to wrist, one touch access to um, digital compass, barometric pressure, altitude and temperature readings keep important information at your fingertips. Now everything about these models is designed and engineered to make them essential pieces of outdoor gear. It ri its rivals are the Tissot T Touchline, which I had the chance to wear and make a review of it, and the Santo models or the Sunto models. Now, what are the pros of this watch? Well, the first one is that it's cheap, no pa no maintenance required, battery life is very uh, significant, uh, durability, water resistant, and a uh, great function of it is that it's solar powered, um, and of course there its functions backlight chrono timer dual time sensor compass altimeter barometer and a thermometer now what are the cons of this watch i saw well the crystal is not scratch resistant although the bezel is thick enough wristband could also be uh, better designed and aesthetically improved now when it comes to function functions it could have at least a couple of more functions and a memory but in, in general, it's a great trekking watch with great features and very lightweight. So, it can uh, it's a softer version of the Casio's G-Shock line. If you do like my videos and my reviews or this review, please do give it a thumbs up, uh, share my content and uh, con comment my content, and please do subscribe. Now, uh, I'm moving on to the tutorial part of this video. Uh, which will be arranged in segments for you to skip and you can do that to using the description and the comment of this video first before I'm enter the, uh, the describing the functions and functionalities of the watch I'm gonna say a couple of things of the power level and the battery supply and the solar powering now this watch has a of course solar charger integrated in the in its screen and this uh, uh, chargeable or rechargeable battery. Now, the main thing to notice about when first uh, putting a wrist on your watch is this lower uh, part of this digital screen and currently it shows H. Now, this could also be replaced with M or L, now meaning low, medium and high. That's the that's indication of power that your battery has. Now, uh, when whilst in whilst H is inscribed, uh, it means all functions are enabled. When M is inscribed, it means also all functions are uh, enabled. And when power is L or the low illumination beeper, 
uh, and sensor operation are disabled. Now, this watch, as I've said previously, is uh, able to recharge its battery, and I'm gonna put a, a image so you can see how much does it take for it to recharge. Selecting a mode on this watch now or the basic operation or basic functions as I will call this segment is that you know using these um, buttons on the watch is done by using these buttons on the watch uh, sorry for the cold and that's my rough voice um, but to enter the to shuffle between the functions uh, use the lower left button now by pressing this button over here it inscribe mode on the bezel you can shift between the functions now let's get to the functions and what what's it to offer now first push will indicate the uh, sunset or the sunrise second is the data recall mode then it's a stopwatch mode countdown timer mode alarm mode and the world time mode and one push again and the higher pitch of the sound indicates that we are in the standard timekeeping mode. Now, the sub dial, I would call, I would say it's sub dial and call it sub dial in my video, although it's an all digital screen. Uh, the upper one can be shifted between the date as the 28th of December by shifting the adjust, pressing the adjust button. It will uh, rotate between barometric graph. Uh, indication like uh, representation of date like Saturday the 28th or the uh, representation of date including the month. Now this watch is a ABC watch which stands for triple, wa triple sensor. It has altimeter, barometer and compass and in inner bezel it's uh, beautifully, I would say it's a beautifully, beautifully um, put, to, put on the bezel. Now first push on the compass gets us to a compass mode which I, which I will explain later to return to timekeeping push the mode button uh, or barometer push the barrow button and the barometer or the value of the hectopascals will show now and also our temperature readout push mode timekeeping and the altimeter mode there's the ultimate the, there's the altitude now whilst in these functions you can also shift between those separate without returning to the uh, timekeeping mode and once again by pressing the mode higher pitch and get, gets us back to the uh, standard timekeeping mode configuring home city settings well there are two uh, home city setting, settings actually selecting uh, the home city and selecting either standard time or daylight saving time so to configure the home city and summer time settings whilst in standard timekeeping mode hold down the uh, adjust button for uh, two seconds until you hear the beep and the set hold will flash on the screen and city will be displayed shortly on the upper screen so let's do it and there it is now the watch will exit the setting mode automatically if you do not perform uh, perform any operation for about two or three minutes and the city code table you can find the city code table with the um, selected time zones now to shuffle between the time zones and your home city settings use the um, lower right button and the upper right button so let's uh, watch this screen up, upper screen over here as i shuffle between the zones so it's utc rio and new york city chicago and i'm shifting between the time zones and you can see the time changing on the screen now my time zone is paris so i'm gonna get back to the paris time zone now to uh, adjust the daylight saving time uh, press the um, lower left button until the DST stands and with now it's off and press the lower right button to shuffle between on and off now 
daylight saving time in my country is off currently and that's my home city settings that's what i want to go with and when we are done press the adjust button twice and there we are at the standard timekeeping moon with the adjusted uh, time now if you use am or pm indicator the p will stand over here that's pretty much it moving to the next segment configuring current time and date settings on the casio prg 300 is done by whilst in stand time, standard timekeeping mode depressing the uh, adjust button and holding it and now we have uh, <coughs> sorry for that now we have a uh, but now we are in adjustment adjusting mode now first step is the city code to shuffle the city code press the upper right and the uh, lower right button now shifting between the time zone set is uh, changing the time i'm gonna get back to london because that's my time zone now where is paris paris sorry paris now uh, moving on to the um, daylight saving time by pressing the mode button and the DST will flash as on or off now pressing the uh, lower right button switches it between on and off moving on pressing the D again moves us to 24 hour and 12 hour format when I press once the P will stand for PM now sc uh, scrolling it with this button i'm gonna leave it at 24 hour format next step pressing the mode button again shifts us to seconds and we can adjust the seconds shifting the, it uh, pressing it the mode button again moves us to hour and we can adjust the hours by pressing the upper right and the lower right button and once we are done pressing the mode button again we'll move to minutes now to do to uh, change the minutes we can do that by pressing the upper right and the lower right button but i'm gonna stay at my current time preset but that's the point pushing it again mode button moves us to year setting and again the same buttons increase on or decrease the value pushing the mode button again moves us to month and we can shift the month using these two buttons now pushing it again moves us to uh, day settings the procedure is the same and uh, pushing it again moves us uh, moves us to the uh, button operation tone and we can set it on or off or mute and or to have a note when uh, pushing these uh, pushers i'm gonna leave it at with the um, sound sound on next step pushing the mode button activates the light or the illumination duration and I can shift it with this button the options are 1 and 3 seconds I'm gonna leave it at 3 seconds and then uh, <coughs> pushing it again activates the power saving option is it on or off Shuffle and shuffling is done by pressing the lower right button I'm gonna leave it at on then uh, uh, the next step is the units of the measurement for the compass barometric and the altitude value pushing it uh, I press the mode once again and I don't know it may be hard to see but Celsius hectopascals and meters are flashing to change the um, compass values push the uh, upper button indicated as the compass there are no values for the compass but as the compass when pressed when compass is pressed the values of uh, temperature are temperature are indicated so i'm shifting between the celsius and the fahrenheit and i'm gonna leave it at the celsius now pushing the barrel button will shuffle 
between hectopascals and this um, I don't know how it's pronounced but it's uh, spelled I N H G and uh, uh, pushing the LT button shuffles a bit the measuring units of the altitude from meters to feet now I'm gonna leave it at the um, feet a meter sorry and when all the settings are done push the uh, upper uh, left button twice to exit this setting screen and that's the uh, that would be all the operation uh, for configuring current time and date settings using the stopwatch on the PRG 300 is done by whilst in standard timekeeping moon pressing the mode button until the STW indicates on the upper screen and there it is now what's the uh, all these numbers and letters mean this is the hours the minutes the um, seconds one tenth of a second and the current time now to perform the action of the um, stopwatch press the uh, lower right button to activate it also to stop it and the uh, upper right button to reset it again now uh, to pause at a split time use the A button to uh, start it use the um, upper right button to split it split release also the same button lower right one to stop it and the upper right one to reset it that would be the stopwatch function using the countdown timer now the countdown timer is used uh, whilst in standard timekeeping mode press the mode button until the TMR stands in the upper screen and this uh, array of digits is displayed now we have the time shown uh, on the lower screen it's the current time these are the minutes the seconds and the hours hold down the adjust button until the first of all hours start to flash and now you can rearrange the value by pressing these two buttons I'm gonna leave it at zero now pressing the mode button shuffles to the um, minutes and we can arrange the value I'm gonna leave it at the preset value of 10 now when it's all done press the adjust button and to activate the uh, stopwatch uh, the countdown timer press the lower left button lower right button sorry and the countdown timer timer is started now to pause it press the same button again to reset it press the upper right button and that's the operation of the countdown timer the alarm mode on this watch now whilst in standard timekeeping mode press the mode button until the ALM stands in the upper screen and there it is now this watch has a uh, five independent daily alarms and uh, um, snooze alarm which includes a snooze alarm and the hourly signal chime now to uh, shuffle between the alarms and the uh, upper screen shows is is it on or off now use the uh, lower uh, right and the upper right button now I'm shuffling between the snooze alarm alarm four three two one and the hourly signal and as you can see you can set even the preset time of the hourly signal or, or when it goes off now let's choose let's say alarm one to uh, adjust the value of the alarm one hold down the uh, e button uh, adjust button until it says set hold and the um, hours will start to flash now to 
uh, change the settings or the value of the errors press the upper right uh, upper um, sorry lower right button or the upper right button I'm gonna get it back let's see I don't know one o'clock now when the um, Uh, time is preset and you want to adjust the and you want to activate the alarm and that's the value of your alarm press the adjust button once and now the alarm is on now to shift between the on or activating the or deactivating the alarm press the barrel button I'm gonna go with off because I don't want it it's a factory watch I borrowed it from a store now I'm gonna shuffle between the and show you how the um, all the alarms function the same way except for the snooze button and I can adjust the value of the snooze button but uh, uh, I'm gonna this is gonna uh, barrel button is gonna turn it on or off I'm gonna leave it at off because that's the factory preset and when all, all is done press the press the um, lower or uh, the mode button until we get to the again alarm mode and that's it you can shuffle uh, between these alarm at any time getting back to standard timekeeping mode and that's the alarm mode checking the current time in a different time zone now you can use the world time mode to view the current time in one of the 31 time zones or 48 cities around the globe. The city that is currently selected in the world time mode is called the world time city. Now, uh, whilst in the standard timekeeping mode, use the D button to shuffle between the functions until you get the world time mode on the upper screen. And now we are indicating the London time and the lower screen is indicating the current timekeeping mode or, or the uh, standard timekeeping mode to shuffle between the um, time zones watch the upper sc uh, screen and now uh, each city represents the uh, different time zones shuffle between the cities using the uh, upper right or the lower right button i'm gonna push these buttons and now you can see the cities changing as well as the times changing and basically that would be the function of the uh, different time zone or checking the current time in a different time zone and uh, whilst you have selected your time zone uh, press the mode button to get back to your standard timekeeping this watch has the uh, option of the uh, auto light switch turning on the auto light switch causes the illumination to turn on uh, whenever you position your wrist as described below in any mode moving the, the watch to a position that is parallel to the ground and then uh, tilting it towards you more than 40 degrees cause the, causes the illumination to turn on and here is the diagram now to activate it uh, press the L button or the light button there it is and when I press it the light will turn on but now we want to turn on the out illumination so we are going to press hold it press and hold it for about three seconds until the LT is lit or uh, shown on the lower lower dial lower the lower part of the screen now we are holding it and the LT is uh, activated so the auto illumination is on when you want to um, turn it off uh, proceed uh, repeat the procedure and the auto illumination is off the compass mode of this watch now to enter the compass mode uh, on this watch uh, it's done whilst in standard timekeeping mode or one of the sensor modes and the sensor modes are alti, barrel and compass uh, again we are entering the compass mode so press the compass button but first of all you have to align your watch horizontally and the, uh, place the watch on a flat surface and if you're wearing the watch make sure that your uh, wrist is horizontal as I said previously 
and point uh, the 12 o'clock position to the of the watch to in the direction who are you, who's uh, reading you want to take now press the compass button to start and the comp will uh, appear and you saw it as when I pressed it now uh, these and well I'm whilst I'm rotating the watch about one second after you pre press the compass button pointers the three graphic segments for the north and though they are they are the, the, that's the north of three dots or the three components that's uh, that's uh, how north is inscribed north is inscribed on this watch uh, and all the other segments are the other sides of the words direction will also be indicated by a literal direction indicators and by a uh, uh, selection angle now I'm gonna put you put a graphic on this video so you can get a better understanding of the watch on or the how how this watch functions now uh, digital compass readings uh, now we have uh, disengaged the compass mode uh, as I said previously the auto switch is in a, is disabled during the 60 seconds that the digital compass readings are being taken uh, and now I'm gonna put in the table that shows the meaning of each and every direction abbreviations that appear on the display the margin of error for uh, angular value of the direction is plus or minus 11 degrees while the watch is uh, horizontal um, if the indicated direction is northwest and 350 degrees for example the action the actual direction can be anywhere for from uh, 304 to 326 degrees uh, you can calibrate the bearing sensor if you suspect the direction of ready, reading is incorrect <coughs> sorry for that now this watch is uh, has a tracking mode so it's very complicated uh, and it has a bi-directional uh, calibration and the bearing uh, sensor so uh, if I would do that this video will take a very long time but uh, that's the basics of your sensor or the compass sensor mode now if you want to know more type in the uh, manual 3443 and you can find very detailed instructions on how to use it taking the barometric pressure and temperature readings now you can enter the um, barometric uh, mode from any of the sensor modes or the standard timekeeping mode and now I'm currently in the standard timekeeping mode so I'm gonna press the barrel button and the barrel will uh, and you saw the barrel, uh, barrel on the upper uh, screen and the that's indicating that the barometric pressure and temperature readings are in progress on the middle screen we have a barometric pressure for in the hectopascals and the lower screen shows the temperature in the degrees of celsius now after you press the barrel button the watch will take readings every five seconds for the first three minutes and then every two minutes after that uh, the watch will return to timekeeping mode if you do not perform any operation for about one hour after entering the barometric mode now barometric pressure barometric pressure is displayed um, in the units of one hectopascals the displayed barometric pressure <coughs> sorry for that value changes to the three dots so there's no uh, there's no readout if a measured pre barometric pressure falls outside the range of 260 to 1100 hectopascals uh, the temperature is displayed in units of celsius or fahrenheit as i previously said and the displayed value uh, will vary from minus 10 degrees to 64 degrees celsius uh, you can also change the um, units as i've done it in the uh, previous segment of the video now a significant part of this watch is the barometric pressure graph those uh, dots on the upper screen now barometric pressure indicates the changes in the atmosphere by monitoring these changes you can predict the weather with uh, reasonable accuracy this watch takes barometric uh, pressure readings automatically every two hours 
and the readings are used to produce the barometric pressure graph and barometric pressure differential pointer readings. The um, barometric pressure, uh, the, the barometric uh, pressure graph or reading the barometric pressure graph, uh, well, it uh, shows a chrono chronological history of pressure readings. Um, you can use it to predict the whether the weather is going to be uh, bad or good. Uh, but uh, the most the significant this thing is this uh, barometric pressure differential pointer that's the this dot over here now this uh, pointer indicates the relative difference between the most recent barometric pressure reading indicated on the barometric pressure graph and the current barometric pressure value displayed in the uh, this mode now uh, i'm going to put in the screenshot for you to understand to better understand the uh, values that this uh, graph will show you and wait for it i'm gonna uh, say that uh, this dot will move from move from the um a lower part of the watch screen to the upper part of the watch screen let me just tap in the focus button there it is and uh, now whilst that dot is the uh, moving from this segment to the upper part of the let's say number 10 over here it means the current pressure is greater than most recent measured pressure and the, when it's moving down the current pressure less than uh, most recent measured pressure now we can see the current pressure is uh, uh, pretty much the same as the uh, recent measurement that would be the barometric pressure differential pointer now your watch analyzes the uh, past barometric pressure readings and uses a barometric uh, pressure change indicator to inform you about changes in pressure. If it determines uh, there has been a significant change in pressure, it will beep and all of the graphic segments around the periphery of the watch will flash as the barometric pressure changes alert. And <coughs> Sorry again, but um, that would be basically the barometric mode of this watch. The altimeter mode now whilst in the standard timekeeping mode well i'm not and there i now i'm in standard timekeeping mode push the lt button and um, now we have activated the um, altimeter mode on this watch now before actually taking any altitude reading you need to select an altitude screen format and select an altitude reading interval you can select these two screen formats on the um altimeter mode i'm gonna put in the screenshot so you can see what i'm talking about altitude tendency graphs are updated every time you take the an altitude reading that's the first screen let's say a first screen graph units are 10 meters and the, on the vertical axis and the um measurement reading interval one second or five second or two minutes on the horizontal axis so this is that's the um graph we are talking right now to take readings of the difference between the altitude at your current location and the altitude of the reference for a reference point select screen 2 uh, using the using an altitude differential value uh, for more information now i'm going to put in another screenshot so you can see what those three two screens are now to uh, select your screen format in the altimeter mode press the uh, adjust button and hold it until the set hold and the alt starts to, to flash now press the uh, lower left or the mode button uh, twice and there it is now use the um, lower right button to shuffle between the uh, one screen one and uh, screen two selecting the um, altitude auto readings now uh, 
you can either select the uh, when you're finished press the uh, upper or the adjust button and now, now we are at the screen two now I'm gonna get it back to screen one shuffling just and we are at the screen one again now you can select either of the following uh, two altitude auto reading interventional intervals sorry uh, and it's indicated by the five second and two minute uh, readout on the your main screen and i'm going to show you uh, now the five second readings are at one uh, readings are uh, at one second intervals for the first three minutes and then every five seconds or approximately the next hour now the two minute uh, that's not two minute readings that's the two minute indicated on the main screen and that stands for readings at one intervals for the first three minutes and then every two minutes for approx approximately next 12 hours now to select an uh, altitude auto reading interval in the altimeter mode whilst in the altimeter mode uh, hold down e button uh, sorry uh, upper adjust button adjust button for two at least two seconds and the set hold will appear on your screen now the LT is shown on the upper screen and now uh, press the um, lower right but lower left button uh, to display the current and sh search for interval and the um, use the lower one button to shuffle between the five minute five second or two minute readout intervals i'm gonna leave it at the five second interval and now press the uh, adjust button to exit the settings and back to the altimeter mode and those are the um, basic operations